Hello, 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 my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy, hello. Today is a pick a card tarot reading. We are going over what you can expect in the week ahead, what you can um, keep in mind for the next seven days from the time you're finding this timeless reading. Move these up a tiny bit. All right, so I have three piles for you guys today. Pile one, we have this beautiful shell that was collected on the east coast of Florida, central south Florida, kind of on the east coast. Um, pile two, we have this little onyx turtle, cute little turtle here. And pile three, we have this tiger's eye um, elephant. So elephant and carved into a tiger's eye crystal. So uh, take a deep breath, go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you're drawn to more than one, you could just have a really busy week or you could just have a message in another pile that you needed to hear. So feel free to watch more than one. The timestamps will be in the description box below if you're having a hard time uh, deciding. Sometimes people use the numbers and the timestamps to decide. So again, pile one, pile two, pile three. I will leave these up here for a moment. If you need more time, feel free to pause the screen and then I will meet, meet you at your pile. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile one. You guys picked this lovely seashell that I picked up off the beach on the east coast of Florida. And we are going over what you can expect in the week ahead in the next seven days. Um, if you're new here, I always start with tarot, the multi oracle cards, as well as letters and charms. So our tarot is our current energy. Oh, and we'll also have a specific section for love, sorry. All right, so our tarot is our overall energy for the week. So you guys have a four of swords in the world. So this combination, this is more of a week of rest. This could be closing out cycles, tying up loose ends. Um, you could have been recently been through a lot of stuff, a lot of lessons, um, where this is kind of the week to like rest and just kind of almost contemplate or think about possibly everything that you've been through. There could be um, things kind of just pieces coming together where you're like, oh, okay, that's why this happened. There's really not much you need to physically do with the Four of Swords, because again, this is a card of rest, rejuvenation, meditation, reflection. Um, and the world is all about, again, closing out cycles. It's the end of a cycle, and then we start with a new beginning. So some of you guys could be on the edge of starting something new here shortly, but this is the week you're kind of tying up those loose ends. The world can also represent travel. Maybe somebody's planning some sort of rela relaxing vacation as well, thinking about somewhere to go tropical where they can just relax and lay on the beach. Um, I'm using the Golden Girl Tarot. We have Dorothy in both of these cards. Maybe someone's going to go to South Beach. <laughs> Maybe you want to go to the East Coast of Florida, like the shell that you're attracted to. Um, that's where the Golden Girls lived. Um, so yeah, but this is really a week of just kind of reflecting and gathering strength and kind of figuring out or just, yeah, being reflective on things that have recently happened and tying up those loose ends. Uh, next, you guys had full moon in Aquarius. Be real. So there's a need to definitely be authentic this week. Um, be honest about what you want and what you need. Maybe that's what you're thinking about. Maybe you've closed out some cycles where you felt like you weren't really you. And so now you're stepping into the most you version of yourself um, and you're being guided to really do that. Um, sometimes it's hard, especially if you've lived most of your life being a people pleaser. I know a lot of people relate with that and that are slowly shifting out of that and, um, learning not to be guilty or feel guilty when we kind of put our needs and wants out there because we're not used to that <laughs> and it kind of can feel icky sometimes, but this is just as encouraging you to just be really real with, um, what you need 
in your life um, and, and what you want. And not being ashamed to be you um, in the greatest sense that you are. Aquarius, some of you guys may relate, or being Aquarius um, is that very unique spirit and very much their own person. All right, next you guys have a clarity. So this kind of goes back into this Four of Swords where you're gaining clarity, really thinking, but allowing yourself to rest to get that clarity. This card says clearing your mind brings you closer to the sacred inner wisdom. So again, you're being guided to kind of possibly meditate on a situation. If you don't know why something happened, maybe, you know, slow down and meditate and ask your guides. I'm not understanding why this happened the way it did. Can you please give me information on that and meditate on that and wait for those answers to come in? Uh, last week, I think I talked a lot about meditation in one of the piles. And I was talking about this idea about when we, um, when we pray, it's like us, us talking to God. And when we meditate, it's us, it's God talking to us. And I remember someone comment on that, that their mind was blown by that idea. And I remember when I came across that idea years ago, I was like, wow, that's so true. So, um, there may be a need to meditate to gain that inner wisdom, that God wisdom. Um, if you are having a hard time understanding why something happened the way that it did. Okay, next you guys, what's your honest truth? You have two messages. I remember when this popped out, it made me smile. Um, you're being guided to really figure out what is your honest truth? What do you need? Um, really evaluate that, reflect on what it is that, what you need. Yeah, I feel like this is all about really stepping into your authenticity and really asking yourself, what is your honest truth? Not what someone else wants from you, not what someone else's ideal situation, what's your ideal situation? Um, and really being honest about that. But, and that starts with being honest with ourselves. Um, next we have our messages from heaven card. You guys have your intuition is strong. We are reaching out to help. So your past, your past on loved ones, um, this also can just be your guides or the universe is letting you know that they are reaching out to help through your intuition and your intuition is very strong at this time. And another nod to really tapping into that internal wisdom that you carry uh, within yourself and allowing that, um, allowing them to help in that way. All right. Um, you guys had the house. So home could be a focus this week. Maybe somebody is actually buying a home. Um, this house looks like a little, a little bit of a haunted looking house to it. Um, but we'll, we'll just go with, you know, home. Uh, you may want to just stay home. Maybe you're planning that trip from home. Um, but, uh, but home is, is a focus. Some of you guys could be looking to move home. Uh, you could be buying a house. Um, this also feels like just, you know, organizing your house or making your house how you want it in your own truth. Okay. So for your law of attraction reminder this week, we have enjoy the journey the fun in getting there, acknowledge your process, travel, you have travel coming up again, mental vacation, be spontaneous. So if you don't have the means to travel, um, you're being guided to know you can go on a mental vacation. Maybe do a guided meditation that takes you somewhere. Um, maybe astral traveling is, is in your uh, budget <laughs> at this time. Um, but uh, but this this card ultimately is reminding you to have fun in the journey. Uh, we sometimes we get so caught up on the destination, or I'll be happy when X Y Z happens, or I'll be happy when I have this, or I get there, or I'm at this promotion, or whatever, and then we forget to enjoy the life in the middle. And that's where life happens. Life happens in the middle, and if we if we are so focused on that end result, we miss we miss it all. So you, you're being guided to really enjoy the little moments, enjoy the pauses, enjoy all the time in between um, where you are and where you're going. All right, next you guys have fan, romance, celebration, and party. So someone could be having a romantic celebration, a party celebration. <laughs> um, this fan makes me feel like you're so hot. But um, so there's going to be a chance maybe... Um, some of you guys could go to some sort of celebration or party where romance might, might come up. Um, 
You could have a party or a celebration with a romantic partner. Uh, and you guys also had ant, work, achievement, success. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting some sort of accolade or there's going to be success around something that you have been putting time in. You have been putting work in. And sometimes that comes when we finally like stop worrying about getting to that spot. You know, it's like when you're like, I don't care. I'll get there when I get there. I'm just going to relax and go with it. That's when things come in. <laughs> so this could be one of those like, you know, the funny things about life when, you know, you finally stop stressing about getting there and you just allow yourself to relax is all the things that you want to come in. All the things you've been working for all of a sudden materialize when you finally just relax and enjoy the in-between. So for your day of importance, we have Saturday. So whenever Saturday is from the time you're watching this is a day of importance for you this week. So keep that in mind, Saturday. And then let's pull your love cards, your love um, focus for this week. I always like to pull this on screen and then we will do um, letters and charms next. So for pile one, what's going on with their love romantic connections this week? We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you're guided to make an effort in your loving connections. Let's see. What else? Pile one. Trust your intuition. You have that twice. You have your intuition is really, really on point this week. It says, trust what you're feeling. Listen to your intu what your intuition is telling you about the situation or person. Your feelings are real. Trust that you can tune into your inner guidance and follow it. Everything you need is within. Follow your heart. So this is definitely a week of being real, trusting yourself, trusting your truth. Um, sorry for the pause. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people sometimes, they're like, I can't, I, I don't know what's my ego or fear or my intuition. I feel like I've been talking about this a lot, but it, it's coming up again. So your intuition is always going to be a clear, calm knowing. So if there's like some frantic worry, ah, you know, that's typically not your intuition. Um, you, your intuition will tell you no, but it's usually like, nope. And you're like, I don't know why, but this is a no for me. But if you're anxious and worried and, ah, like, you know, not feeling good, like eek, that's typically not your intuition. Now your intuition could be saying something similar, but it's when you can calm yourself and be like, okay, what is the answer? What should I do here? And when you get that calm answer, that calm knowing, that's your intuition. So I don't know if that helped anybody for me to say that for like the 70th time in the last month, <laughs> but hopefully that message is for somebody or a good reminder. I know I need it sometimes too. All right, so let's do your letters and charms. I always like to start with the zodiac dice. So this could be your sign someone else's sign that you're dealing with heavily this week or the energy of this sign so pile one you have sagittarius which is also and it wanted to flip to capricorn but sagittarius um which also can be about travel it's about expansion it's about growth or you can just be dealing with a saggy and the fourth house which is which is home again so home home is highlighted some of you guys may be buying a bigger house with this expansion of home. Okay. And maybe you're bringing more people into your home. I'm, I'm not quite sure that's going to look a little different for everybody. All right. So for our letters. So sometimes it spells words. Sometimes they're initials. Sometimes they're locations. I'm not the best at seeing the words. Um, I stop trying <laughs> all the time. So if there's words that I miss and you guys want to help me out, I would love it if you guys put that in the comment section. So let's see, pile one's letters. Okay, so we have a D, an H, a Q, a C, an X, a B, a J, and an O. So those are some of your letters. I'm really not seeing much right now. I see doc, box with an X. So there are your letters, guys, if you guys want to help me out and put uh, the words that you see or any abbreviations that you know mean something else. I appreciate that. 
All right, and let's see. Your charms, pile one, week ahead. Okay. All right, so you have two more tarot cards. We have a nine of cups, so that's a wish fulfilled. And the two of pentacles, which is about finding balance. It can sometimes be about having so much on your plate, but um, this is emotional fulfillment and something of an emotional want that's coming true. Um, so if this does happen, just make sure you keep your balance um, in whatever. Um, basically, I'm hearing like don't get too caught up in the desires, the outside desires, but keep your balance within everything in your life this week. Um, you guys also had the lovers, so soul level connections. This could be uh, soulmates, not just romantic, but friends. But this is also about choices and Geminis represented here. We have always, which always reminds me of Harry Potter. Um, but so something around is always happening. Um, this doesn't have to be a negative thing. This is just something like almost like you can... You can count on something this week. This is something you can count on. Uh, we have we have a crown and a top hat. So the top hat for me is something surprising may happen, happen uh, something magical this week. Um, but we have in the crown, I usually talk about treating yourself, like treat yourself. Uh, also about crown chakra activations. But I'm also being guided just to be mindful of your head this week. I don't know if someone's going to end up... I, I hate giving this kind of news, but having some sort of headaches or bumping their head. So just be mindful of your head this week, these two things that go on your head. And then we have this little sunflower. So there's just a reminder to stop and enjoy the small things in life. Um, I don't know if you've ever been driving along at certain times of year and you see like a field of, of sunflowers or something almost magical about it, but it takes that moment of appreciation to really bring that in. So um, remember, if you do, I mean, you're supposed to be resting this week, but at least have at least one moment, please. <laughs> one moment of meditative rest this week, guys, if you can. Um, and in those moments, maybe just practice gratitude. If you don't know what to meditate on, just, just say thank you. Just meditate on all the things you're grateful for. Um, but show appreciation this week, or don't forget to show appreciation. So there are your letters and charms, pile one. If any of these mean something else to you, always take that and honor that. If you want to share your personal meaning, I always appreciate that in the comments as well. And I'm going to end this here. As always, thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for all the support. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye, guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile two. You guys picked this super cute little onyx um, turtle here. And we are going over what you can expect in the week ahead and the next seven days, what you need to keep in mind. So I always like to start with the tarot and then we'll do oracle cards. We'll do a section on love as well as letters and charms. So let's see, pile two. You guys have the nine of cups and the lovers. So Jim and I making an appearance here with the lovers card. So the nine of cups energy, this is all about a wish being fulfilled. <laughs> um, there is this vibe and this energy of having your cake and eating it too. Um, is the message kind of coming in? Because the lovers, as you know, in love readings, it can be about soul level connections and whatnot, but the lovers is also about choices. So it feels like, and then we have, sorry, we're using the golden girl tarot, and I feel like Sophia is up here like granting wishes. Like, you can have your cake and eat it too. So there might be something that. Um, this week might just feel like a very blessed week. Um, you know, things are just happening. Uh, I'm hearing own that energy, allow that energy in. Um, it might be a little bit like a feels good or too good to be true kind of vibe. Just allow it. <laughs> if you if you have a tendency to err on the side of pessimistic, maybe just try and be opt optimistic <laughs> this week. Um, stretch yourself a little bit and see what can unfold. Um, this really feels like you are being um, blessed from the universe, uh, you know, getting repaid for possibly some good doings that you've had, but just an overall feeling of things coming to fruition that you've been wanting for a long time. For some of you, that might be around a romantic connection uh, with the lovers here. 
um, but really beautiful energy. But back to the, the lovers being about choices, there also might be some choices that um, you need to go over this week. I'm hearing pick what you really want, like go after the outcome that you truly, truly your heart's desire, because you have this energy of those types of energies being granted for you this week. All right, next you guys have first quarter moon in Aries. So step into your power. So you're being guided to step into your power this week. Really, again, honoring, owning it. Like the world is your oyster, pile two, um, if you choose to take it. We do have the solar plexus symbol here. So there might be some um, charge around that this week. Um, possibly doing some inner work around your solar plexus. If you're not sure what that means, look it up. Uh, possibly meditating on that. Um, you could have some issues about feelings or um, working through some stuff on how you feel about things this week as well. But you're stepping into your power pile too. Um, okay, next we have motivation. Motivation kindles the passion and energy needed in working towards your goal. So you will be tapping into motivation. This is the week that, again, it feels like the ball is moving. If you've been a little stagnant lately, this is the, the week of action, the week of motivation, the weeks of things happening, um, things working out and coming true might also give you the motivation to keep going about something. So yeah, I really like this, this pile. <laughs> Uh, next, you guys have accept and receive. So this is kind of that message that was coming up about allowing. That comes up a lot. I feel like that's a collective message about learning to allow things in, learning to accept good things, learning to not just be the giver, but the receiver. Um, it is a precious cycle. And if you don't allow other people to do things for you, if you don't allow others to help you, then you're kind of blocking that schedule, that, 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 um, that, flow of energy. So allow and accept and receive all this good thing coming to you. You don't have to be skeptical this week. Put the skepticism on the back burner and allow things in. Um, next you guys have, this is your messages from heaven, communication cards. It says birds are messengers we use to connect with you. So keep an eye out for birds and feathers this week. Um, your loved ones are trying to communicate you, with you via birds. I always think of cardinals, but I, I love this little, I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. Does anyone know? Is that like a sparrow or something? I don't know. He's so cute. That's all I know. He's so cute. All right. So cute little birds. <laughs> um, next you guys had great fortune. So there could be some sort of money coming your way, some sort of abundance, a fortune. Fortune can be, you know, monetary, but fortune can be all kinds of things. Um, so keep an eye out for, again, things working in your favor. I'm really, really, really loving this pile. You're having your cake and eating it too this week, pile two. Um, next, you guys have ooh, limiting beliefs. So this is a good reminder um, on watching your limiting beliefs. The, again, the pessimistic side, the when's the other shoe going to drop? You know, sometimes when things happen so good for us, we're like, we're scared to hold on to it because we're waiting for the other shoe to drop. So that's also a limiting belief is that good things don't happen to you without something bad happening as well. Let that limiting belief go. All right, I'm going to read this card. It says subconscious beliefs impede progress. Check in with yourself. So when you are having those limiting beliefs, you could be very well blocking all this fortune and energy that wants to come in. So be mindful of those limiting beliefs. Um, shadow work doing those shadow work ask when you when you have a hard time accepting good in ask yourself why where does that stem from what moment was that thought created um, and see what energy and work you can do around that and this is rewire with subliminal so maybe um if you're having a hard time rewiring your brain to thinking more positive uh, maybe if you're interested look into subliminal messaging that you can listen to that kind of helps you rewire the, your subconscious because subconscious is it's very much just that. It's things that run without really your conscious, you know, obviously <laughs> being aware of it. But but starting to get aware of those limiting beliefs and stopping them in the moments that they're happening is a huge step in that. And then retraining your brain to think something else. And it's very doable. It just take some intention and time. All right, next, the important day this week we have is Thursday. I'm going to try not to be alarmed by the fact that this is on a crybaby tears. 
So there could be potential for tears on Thursday. Um, so whenever Thursday comes up from the time you're watching this, this is a day. Um, hopefully this is tears of laughter. I think about sour candy, but just keep that in mind. Thursday is highlighted for you this week. Uh, next you guys have Tiger. Doing something risky, taking a chance. So you're, there could be something to take a chance on this week. If you feel called to do that, again, your energy is very supportive of good things happening. Um, and then we have star guarantees success. So if you take that risky, do that risk, you take that chance, you're guaranteed success. So I, I couldn't have like handpicked better cards for you guys this week, pile two. So this looks really good. And again, this, I love that this reminder is here to be mindful and you, just, you don't need to beat yourself up by like about your limiting beliefs, but really being conscious of how many we carry. So anytime, so, you know, this kind of stuff, even if you're listening to this and you're like, oh no, that can never happen for me. Or what is she talking about? That doesn't resonate. That right there is a limiting belief. So just, just be objective about it and look at, okay, well, why do I think that? Well, because X, Y, Z has happened. Well, I don't want that to happen anymore. So I'm going to retrain my mind to be open and receive the idea of good things happening for me. Those kinds of things. All right. So let's look at your love for this week. Let's see. Pile two's love. What do we have for love? We have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. So soulmates are highlighted this week, possibly calling one in. And let's see what else you have. Um, let's see. Divine counterpart. This person is a divine counterpart. You are aligning with your twin flame or soul connection. You are connecting spiritually or astrally with another. This is coming together with a mirror soul to achieve something on an energetic level. So soulmates, divine connections, divine counterparts are highlighted for you, pile two. All right, and let's do our letters and charms. I always like to start with the zodiac dice. So this could be your sign. This could be someone um, sign that you're dealing with heavily this week or the energy of the sign. So you guys have Aquarius. So you could be dealing with some Aquariuses. Uh, the energy of Aquarius, which can be about around technology, humanitarianism, social stuff, um, unique things, unique experiences, Woo. and your house number one. So you're focusing on self. Um, so yeah, your house focus is focusing on yourself. So take time this week to focus on what you need, what you want. Maybe Thursday is your self-focus day. Um, okay, and let's pull letters. So sometimes you spell words, sometimes um, they're initials. I don't always see the words, so if you guys want to tell me what you see or put it in the comments, I always appreciate that. All right, so words, pile two, or letters, pile two. We have a Y, a G, an X, a W, a K, and a G. So we have two Gs, so double letters also are highlighted this week. I don't know what words I see there, but if anybody sees words, I see Kentucky for an abbreviation. I'm sure there's lots, but feel free to drop those. And let's get your charms for pile two. Pile two's charms for this week. What else do they have going on? What do they need to know or keep in mind? All right, so we have Pisces is highlighted. So you have Pisces, Aries, and Aquarius. Um, we have the elephant, so families highlighted this week, also um, being nostalgic around uh, things that happened in your lifetime. Um, there could be some memories coming up from the past, maybe working through that shadow work for some of you. Um, we have this little dog here. So some of you guys, we could be very little. Somebody could be getting a new pet or there could be something involving your pet this week. Um, this also is about loyalty. Dogs are typically a symbol of loyalty. So this could be a time where someone steps up and shows their loyalty to you, or someone may need you to be loyal to them this week. 
what else do we have? Oh, we have another elephant. We have a baby white elephant. So more stuff, maybe memories from when you're a child. This is also highlighting family. So there could be some connections with family this week with these elephants. Okay, you guys have this cat playing with some marbles. So be playful with your thinking this week. I always think of marbles and thoughts. Um, be playful with that. Um, have fun with things this week. Uh, think about fun things. Um, life is what you make of it. So if you want to make it fun, it'll be more fun. We have our guardian angel here. So you have your angels watching over. You have a guardian angel. Bless you, especially with this energy. Very much like Sophia here. <laughs> Blessing your week. So your guardian angels are ready to go. Uh, we have a flip-flop, so somebody could be traveling this week, um, planning a travel, planning a trip somewhere tropical where you'd wear flip-flops. Uh, I don't know why, but if you wear flip-flops, someone either just broke a flip-flop or might break a flip-flop this week. Don't get mad at me if you do. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just saw a broken flip-flop in my head. And then we have run. So some of you may start a new running program. Maybe you want to run <laughs> from something. You could be running in to somebody this week. Um, exercise is important with this. Uh, cardiovascular exercise. Uh, get back into running. Someone might sign up for a race. Oh, I just realized that we have love. I missed that one. So love is highlighted as well for you, pile two. So a pile two, those are your charms, those are your letters. If they mean something else to you, always please honor that. And if you wanna share what a certain um, charm means to you, I always love hearing that in the comments as well. So thank you guys so much for uh, spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends. For pile three, you guys picked the lovely tiger's eye elephant. And we are going over what you can expect in the week ahead, what you need to keep in mind for the next seven days from the time you're finding this timeless reading. I always like to start with tarot, and then we'll do oracle cards, we'll do a section on love, and then we'll do letters and charms. So, <clears throat> okay, pile three, you guys have an eight of swords and a high priestess. So there's a message here, and I feel like a similar message came up in a different pile, but this is an intense version of it. So this is basically a message around your fear-based thoughts versus your intuitive-based thoughts. So this might be a week where you're really being challenged um, to step above limiting beliefs and really trust yourself, trust your intuition, and learning to tell the difference. A lot of people ask, well, how, how do I tell the difference? Like, is my intuition trying to what if it's my intuition trying to protect me, you know, and I'm freaked out and that's why, well, your intuition is always going to be a calm knowing. As in, it's always like, if, if the answer is no, you're going to be like, no, mm -mm. I don't know why, but it, no. And I think you guys can, if you stop and think about moments in your life, you're like, yep, that, that that's my intuition. Now your ego or fear-based thoughts are going to feel frantic and crazy and, ah, and anxious and I'm not saying that your intuition might not be saying the same thing, but if you're feeling overwhelmed and anxious, that's when you need to calm down. You can't necessarily trust that that's your intuition keeping you safe because, again, your intuition is not frantic. So if you're having a moment where you're trying to figure out and you need to tap into that, just take a deep breath or a couple of them, you know, 60 breaths in and out, and that helps reset your, uh, your central nervous system, I believe. It resets your system. We'll say system. Uh, and because uh, I think I said the wrong one. Um, so reset your system, get into a calm moment, and then ask yourself the question you're trying to figure out. And then allow that calm answer to be there. And that's your intuition. So I feel like this is a big week of that. And this is also a big week of stepping past limiting beliefs and really starting to shine and trust yourself. The more you trust yourself, the more you learn to hear that in intuitiveness um, that we all have and trust that versus allowing your fears to hold you back. So the Eight of Swords is just your own thoughts keeping you from your potential. And then the High Priestess is your intuition that's guiding you there. 
So this is the week to, to shut down those limiting beliefs and really step into your power, pile three. All right, let's see what else you guys have. I think that's a beautiful, beautiful message though. So maybe practice that if you have a hard time with that. If anytime you're feeling anxious to calm yourself down, however, however that works for you, and then ask yourself the question that you're needing help with and trust the calm answer that comes in. All right, next we have new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. So Scorpio is a water sign, it represents our emotions. So you're being, gui being guided to go deeper into something emotional this week. Um, you also may be going deeper with somebody into some sort of emotional kind of um, knowledge, situation, something you may be getting deep, you may be getting more information about something. Uh, next you have opportunity. The world is full of opportunities waiting to be discovered. So you, you will have some sort of opportunity this week if you choose to take it. This could be where your, your fears are holding you back, but your soul really is trying to spark you to go. Um, and just know that don't let this opportunity, if it's what you really want and you know you're supposed to do it, don't let those, those negative beliefs, those self-doubts hold you back from this opportunity, guys. limitations inspire uh, innovations. I love this. So this kind of is a step onto this. So this is about when you do have those limit, those limit, limiting beliefs come in, let them be like, okay, well, I could allow myself to hold back or uh, not move past this, or I can use this to, okay, well, what can I do? If, if this fear is telling me I can't do it this way, is there another way I can do it that makes me feel more comfortable? Um, all right, I need to take it away from this limiting belief. My guides are like, you're messing this up, so I apologize. <laughs> okay, so limitations. So if there's something that there is constraints on that you're not sure how it could work out this way, take those limitations and let them inspire you a new, greater way of doing something. Yeah, they're saying detach it from this message. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm making it confusing. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. So yeah, allow those things that limit you, not necessarily your mind, but it could be a situational limitation and allow it to inspire you. Allow it to, you, you allow yourself to brainstorm a workaround because you may come up with a better way to do something, a better um, path to take to get to where you're trying to go that you wouldn't have done if you hadn't had that limitation. So allow it to inspire you to do bigger and better things. Maybe you're not supposed to sell yourself short, you know, maybe you're supposed to do something bigger. And if you didn't have that limitation, you would never actually reach that. All right, your message. Oh, yeah, you guys got two messages from heaven. So these are messages from our loved ones that have passed away. Or um, if you don't have anyone close that way, it could just be your angels or your guides. Uh, so we have be creative, look for ways to build, grow, and manifest. So that could also be the innovative, innovative type thinking. And it says, have you laughed today? Find your joy, lift your soul. So there's a message around not being too serious um, to make sure you're finding your joy, you're lifting your soul up, you're being happy and allowing yourself to have fun with whatever this is that you're probably heavily thinking about. All right, next you guys had message. So you could be getting some sort of letter or phone call, or we'll say text from someone. There could be some sort of important information that comes in this week via some sort of writing or a phone call. So be open to that. You could be getting some sort of you know in, uh, information that you've been waiting for. A letter may come in that's important. Check your mail. <laughs> Check all forms of mail this week, guys. The number seven may be important for somebody. I feel a need to highlight that. All right. So next is your um, your law of attraction reminder, and you guys have it's manifested. Newly or new desired reality is is um, already present in your life. So there's something that you've been trying to manifest that's already here. It says um, vibrational alignment. Astrology gives edge. So pay attention to the astrology this week. Um, Maybe look for the people that you follow on social media. Uh, a lot of them put out, you know, energies for this week. I personally love 
Juniper Moon Astrology. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see me post her, her weekly, um, uh, weekly energy stories in the, in my stories. Uh, her name is Ellen. She's an amazing friend of mine and she is so cool when it comes to astrology. I, I think that she knows the most amazing things anyways. Um, but back to this reading. So if there is something that you've been trying to manifest, but you're not quite getting it, make sure you're vibrationally aligned with what it is you're trying to, to get. If what you want is going to make you happy and feel elated, you're not going to get it if you're feeling grumpy and negative. So, and I know things happen and we get stuck there, but just remind yourself, like be in a vibrational alignment with the thing that you want so it can come in. If you do believe in law of attraction, because that's how it works. So just a little reminder that what you want is already manifested. It's just waiting to come in. Just so switch up your alignment. Maybe pay attention to the astrology as well. All right, so we have a Tuesday. So from the time you're watching this, Tuesday is an important highlighted day for you. So keep that in mind that something important could happen on Tuesday, or maybe this is the day that you really need to put into play. The opportunity could come up on Tuesday. Um, maybe your past loved ones are trying to get a hold of you or um, signal you in some way. We do have frogs and birds in this picture. Or make sure that you laugh on Tuesday. All right, and next you guys have a dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So there's some sort of financial gain that maybe something you worked on in the past or um, you put a lot of work in, you maybe forgot about, but there's some sort of financial gain, gain coming in from the past. And then we have frying pan, trouble and accusations. So there could be something where someone's accusing you of something or you are jumping to accusations for somebody else. Um, just be mindful of that. I feel like this kind of does come in as a warning. So if you have a tendency to jump to um, conclusions or you don't have the full information, don't don't jump to accusations just yet because it could go up in flames. Just uh, try to take a step back and get all gather all information before you make any accusations. Now, if you're dealing with somebody else that's accusing you of things, um, you know, just be be true in what your truth is and honor yourself. Um, but just know that there could be some trouble around accusations this week. All right. So next, for, before we get into the letters and charms, I'm going to pull some cards for your love connections this week. So pile three is love. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So be mindful of any codependent um traits you may have, uh, any uh, like attachment styles that you may need to work through that maybe that's where you're going to go deeper this week. Keep an eye on that. You also could be dealing with someone who's codependent on you. All right, let's see what else we have for love in pile three. Trust your intuition. This came up in another pile and it might've been the same pile that had a similar message. Um, it says, trust what you're feeling. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about the situation or person. Your feelings are real. Trust that you can tune into your inner guidance and follow it. Everything you need is within. Follow your heart. So there is your next nudge, especially with the high priestess being here, to follow your intuition. All right, so let's do letters and charms. I always like to start with the zodiac dice. So this could be your sign or someone that you're dealing with heavily this week's sign or the energy of this sign. So you guys have Taurus. Um, I just heard bull in China shop. So that might be a situation for somebody. Um, Taurus rules the second house, which is about our daily earned money or income. So maybe some project you worked on a long time ago, you could be getting that financial gain from. Um, all right, let me see. What is your house focus? First house. Uh, Taurus is also about um, our five senses. So I, all my Tauruses, and I feel like I talked about this in a recent video, um, are really good at enjoying the good things in life, good food, good sheets, all those things. And this is, you're, you're focused on yourself. So this might be a moment to treat yourself or a reminder to treat yourself this week. All right, let's get letters. So sometimes you spell words. I always miss them. So if you guys will throw them in the comments, I'll appreciate that. Um, but they also can be people's initials or 
locations. Let's see. Pile three's letters. We have an E, an R, a B, an E. So we have a B. Maybe some honey. Maybe get some raw honey. <laughs> we have an F. Oh, beef. All right. <laughs> G, another B. So we have double letters here twice. The double letters might be important for some of you. And an X. Some of our might be dealing with an X this week. Rex, not on Rex Manning Day. If you know what that's from, you get extra points with me. Someone could be begging for your attention. I don't know. There's lots. I'm sure there's more if you guys want to throw them in the comments. All right. Um, and let's see. Charms for pile three. What are pile three's charms? That's something you keep in mind. All right. Ooh, a wish is being granted. So you have a wish. We have also wishful thinking uh, with the Seven of Cups. Um, using your imagination really kind of coming up with uh, solutions, kind of working through things, kind of goes with the be creative and look for ways to build. Um, but a wish should be granted this week with this little wish, or don't forget to make a wish. Um, we have this red apple, so there might be something that you're learning this week. I always think of teachers. So um, you could be teaching someone else or someone, you could be meeting a new great teacher in your life that's supposed to help you learn some new um, lesson. But being a teacher or being taught is important this week. We have an eye. So make sure you're seeing a situation from all angles that could relate to this frying pan energy. Trying to see it from all perspectives. This is like the all-seeing eye. And then we have BS remover. <laughs> so cut through the BS this week. You might need to, again, if, if there's something like there's some sort of gossip, drama, just kind of cut through the BS and see what, what the bulk of the situation is and try to work from there. Don't get caught up in the BS. Remove it. If you need to cut somebody out of your life that's just full of BS, you're being guided to remove them. <laughs> so pile two, there are your letters, there are your charms. If they mean something else to you, always please take that. As always, I appreciate you spending your time with me. Don't forget to like, comment, even if it's just an emoji. That does really help me out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye, guys.